Mm. I don't drink on the job. I mean, we have. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> That's off the record right there. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is BJ. Y'all know I'm Aletha. <laughs> and this is Off the Record. Hope y'all are having a great day, great week. Uh, Aletha was mad at me. You know why she was mad at me? No, I don't know. I'm mad at you all the time. Well, yeah, I mean, this what's new, but she was mad at me because <laughs> we have a special guest today, but I also have a meeting immediately following this show. So the question was, do we do the show at 9 o'clock or 11 o'clock? And I chose 9 and she got mad at me because she said she wouldn't be awake yet. I, and I'm not. I'm still trying to work through my coffee. I ain't even had time to really think about anything that I might would want to talk about. Which then again, I guess we don't do that anyway. No, so. we, we don't. But if you if you happen to watch our uh, vlog called The Journey, I think it was episode 77, you saw Aletha on the couch. And I, she was on the couch and we were fussing about this. And she's... She she clapped her. She said, "What do you mean, like perform like a monkey? Perform, yeah, that's how <laughs> perform, you, little monkey. Yeah, treats me like that, like a pure <laughs> damn sideshow." <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, so uh, so it, it what's what's new? It is the end of the school year. When's your baby graduating? My baby graduates. Today's Friday, so a week from today, right now, we'll be doing that. So when we air this show, she'll be graduating this Friday. Yeah, and they um, better have my baby's pictures and ask lunch. <laughs> oh, we still don't have an update on that. Oh my well, goodness, you are slacking. <laughs> I ain't slacking. You are. If that were my daughter, I would have already been up to the high school. You're doing that on purpose. I am. Because I will go to jail over my child. <laughs> I know you would. She was in here the other day, and y'all are right sweet together. You, look, Aletha puts on this big, tough kind of per personality, but you get her her daughter right with us, and she's mush. So we have a, we have a special guest on the show today, the uh, the infamous Tammy Kelly, who is the director of Lenore County Cooperative Extension Office, and she wears so many other hats. She's been chamber board member. Uh, she's been uh, basically uh, the uh, female. Uh, business lady of the year which the the award used to be called the athena award uh she has uh been chair of the will king hike happening for literally more than a decade or probably more than that but she is an all-around incredible lady gives back a lot to our community and we're really excited and she's a she's a ball of fun too well we are back and uh we have the infamous tammy kelly uh <laughs> yes uh and uh aletha said we need to see your wedges oh yeah she She's They're deluxe. Wedges. Oh, she's always fly. That's what I told They're you. My fabulous, favorite shoes. fabulous yeah. every day, no all the it. time. I'm surrounded by women, so there's always this conversation about fashion shoes. going on here. Yeah. We discussed shoes earlier. Oh, did yeah. you really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, Alita's picked on me because, like, I, I don't I don't shop, and I, whenever I go shop for like clothes, I have to take like Alita or Jessica or Norma because mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. So I, I, I just said I'm tired of doing that. So I bought a subscription service and I put in my my sizes. So so you I got I got more, I get a box every month. How about that? Well, you ladies do that kind of stuff with your little monograms things. I don't monogram. I don't that monogram. Much. You, monogram you were getting some kind of a box every month with a bunch of stuff Boy, in. Boy, that was for my mama. No, it, uh, wasn't for me. it was for you. No, I don't, I don't you. get a monthly box. No, you're talking about well, the I mean, monogram monthly box. thing that Jessica got. <laughs> I get a lot yeah. of boxes. What, what kind of boxes do you get? I get Amazon and various other. Freddie says my boyfriend is the guy that drives the Amazon truck. <laughs> Your boyfriend's here again. No, oh, that's funny. Where are you from? I'm Carter from County. Newport in Carter County. Oh, really? I'm a beach girl. Oh, mm -hmm. well, you've got that beach bum about you. I mean, you're, you're always at the beach somewhere. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. You don't. Look, girl, he be saying things he thinks are compliments, and I just be like, that's not a compliment. <laughs> you just called a woman a Well, bum. I'm a son, man. Well, I mean, she's <laughs> hanging out there all the time. I don't blame her. I'm more, trying to get there. More, hopefully, yeah. So what does Tammy do when she's not thinking about pigs or the extension office? I, I love the beach, just like you said. You know, mm -hmm. See, I caught her beach bum, and you're like, <laughs> I mean, she kind of is. So. I, got, I try to get down there in the Toes in the sand. When we can. Because mm -hmm. that's the only place I can sit. And not like if I was at home, I couldn't just sit on. You know, I'm not gonna. I can't. 
Like one day I'm gonna retire and I don't, I'm I'm already concerned about it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna come back and work for you. That's fine by me. Well, I love that. <laughs> I, apparently, I, all I do is hire ladies here. So. You're a smart man, friend. <laughs> well, actually, three of them are leaving me at the end of July. I'm a little. Uh, we're all upset school, about that. Yeah, because yeah. you know, uh, Gracie is going to App State. Taylor's going to East Carolina. Drew, who's our intern now, is going back to High Point. So oh. we're going to be short three people come maybe August one. So we're, we're going to have retire by then. Yeah. Yes. That would be great. Mm-hmm. Thank you're, you. You can put in your two months notice <laughs> i have 33 years <laughs> do you really yeah. mm-hmm. and sadly i should not tell this but i'll be 60 in july so. look at you mm-hmm. you go ahead Have girl you yeah. right <laughs> no it, she's I, th- I think aletha before you came on she's like the queen I and mean, she she was talking about how how much aletha like, is too kind yeah <laughs> she's awesome besides the beach what else do you do you like to read uh, read i love to read aletha you read you you still read some more I haven't I don't heard read you talk as much about. as I used to, but I was a voracious reader mm-hmm. when I was young, Me all too. the way through my twenties. I mean, I read nonstop, constantly. And I read. I re- it used I to drive my mama crazy. She'd say, "You can't do nothing." Every time I turn around, you got a book in your hand. My daddy would say, "You that. know." Now, are, yeah. you, are y'all one of those like Fifty Shades of Grey kind of ladies, Absolutely or th- not. is this a nonfiction? What is? No, I no. Don't know. no. I like you know the Southern writers, Mary Kay Andrews, the fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I read matter of fact, uh, Christy Harvey's great. Right. I mean, no, we just did a story fabulous. about her. Did you? Mm-hmm. I just finished her book a week or two ago because I can read all day on the beach. It doesn't bother me a bit. Right. Um, and I, that's my chill out time. Right. But, you know, you don't really have time at home so much. Mm-hmm. So, that's very true. Mm-hmm. That's very true. I read a lot of different things. I read some Danielle Steele when mm-hmm. I was really young, like in my 20s. She but was she's probably, still writing. Still she is, is still she writing. really? Mm-hmm. Wow. So, I mean, she was probably one of my favorite like you know girly type books or whatever but i read a lot of autobiographies from different people even politicians or books on presidents from the past i read a lot of things like that i read uh, edgar Allan poe was one of my favorite i was i loved my angelo and all of her oh, yeah. poetry mm-hmm. and her short stories and mm-hmm. i know why the caged bird sing was one of my all-time favorite books i've ever read in my life mm-hmm. it was very very inspiring and very moving so I read a lot of different things, and Hannah did get that from me. Mm-hmm. She's That's always cool. read like that. But I think once I had Hannah um, and I was a stay-at-home mom, there wasn't an awful lot of time left mm-hmm. devoted to just sit down and read a book. That's there was right. too much That's else right. to do I around used, the house. I used to, always something else. In my personal development time, I would always like listen, listen to – I would much rather listen to – a speech somebody gave, like in front of an audience, 10,000 people or so, where you can feel the energy Mm -hmm. versus listening to somebody read their book because it's not nearly as much fun. People say, why don't you read books, listen to books on tape? I kind of listen to the news on the way in, Mm -hmm. you know, hear what's going on. But I think the books on tape might would not. I like to. I've done a couple. I've done a couple in the last year or two. um, And I didn't mind it as much as I thought I would. But I still prefer to actually read it, read it myself. Yeah. So uh, as we kind of wrap up, uh, what what is something you want everybody to know about uh, the Agriculture Extension Office? We're back. We're back. Um, we're back to business mm-hmm. as much as we can be. Um, we have summer programming for kids. Um, all scheduled out so they can call the office. That we have lim- we have to do limited numbers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kelly Tindall, our fam- family consumer science agent, is currently uh, doing a med instead of meds class. She'll probably start another one when this one's over. Um, doing a lot of demos, locally delicious demos at the market. Mm-hmm. Market picks up this time of year. It's fabulous. Um, corn is the next big thing. Strawberries first, corn second. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and you know, we're just we're just busy. You know, 4-H stuff is, is finally back. So, so you're so the kids can participate in some of your they, summer activities. We do have face to face activities. And how how do they how how will a parent get a hold um, to sign them up? One of two things: they can call our office at two five two five two seven. 2191, or they can look on our website. It's um, just put in Lenore County Cooperative Extension, and it'll pop up. It's like co.lenore.ncsu.edu. You know, hey, Danny, will you look that up and put that here at the bottom, the phone number and the website, so we make sure that parents uh, know how to get a hold of it? Because it's on both. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Well, thank you, Tammy. Thank you. It's well, been it was great a, fun. Yeah, and I've got my famous mug. To yeah, with me. <laughs> she was excited because it had the signature on it. Well, because in a few years I'm going to sell it on eBay and make money because it's BJ signed it, right? <laughs> God, girl, those. I've been told you about making his head bigger. <laughs> No, you don't have to worry about my ego around this office. No. Okay. <laughs> this one right here keeps you right. Oh, they all do. She's trained them well. <laughs> she is. Thank you, Tammy. Thank Appreciate you. it very much. Mm-hmm. It's fun. All right. Well, we're back. Uh, that was fun. I love I love Tammy Kelly. I do. I love me some Tammy Kelly, too. She, she's always been first class. Mm-hmm. And uh, she has worked closely with my mother-in-law, Jan, uh, over the years. And 
um it's been it's been fun getting to know her um it's been a while i was just trying to think how long i've known her and it's it's definitely been 20 years oh wow mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um so gr- first class lady happy, yeah happy to have her on, Me too. on the show uh so one thing that i made a note we we don't have a, a typically we don't have an agenda but i did make one one note uh that Aletha mentioned in the office the other day, so I just wrote it down. Uh, you got in trouble with your mama because of your mouth on the last episode of Off um, the Record. Okay, I did. <laughs> because on that Off the Record, I said, you know, I was talking about the wine slushy at the tent. <laughs> And I said, now, you know damn well I'm 44 years old or whatever. And my she mama, did it again. My mama commented on, because I forget about my mama watching, you know. Right. She commented on the show, and she said, do you remember that time your brother got his mouth washed out with soap for talking ugly? And I was like, I'm sorry, mama. Have you, now, have you ever had your mouth washed out with soap? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I, Y'all don't know about Becky. <laughs> Okay, I've been trying to tell y'all around here now, about my I, mama. I thought her name was Rebecca. Well, now let me explain. She her her name is Rebecca. Mm-hmm. Um, and she took to having everybody call her that. I don't know, probably midlife crisis thing. I reckon. Some mm-hmm. point she started. Everybody called her Rebecca. But when we were growing up, she was called Becky. So when we were growing up in the country. And she had three kids, and we were running her crazy. And she would, you know, have her little temper tantrums and be fussing at us and all that. So anytime now that she starts having a fit about something, me, my brother, my sister call it a Becky fit, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So Rebecca, when you meet her, she is sweet and precious and adorable and the cutest little thing the, in the, the world. The lady that I know. But Becky, <laughs> don't play. Is this like a, so a, oh, really? Becky has washed my mouth out with soap, for sure. I wonder if people are going to watch this in the comments. Please tell us if you've ever had your mouth washed out with soap. Uh, you can text me as well, 252-516-6311. <laughs> Have you ever had your mouth washed out with soap? I don't mean threatened. I mean actually had it done. I would love if there was a video as well. Yeah, <laughs> as well. oh yeah. Right. There probably isn't, though, because that's a pretty old school thing to do. But, yeah. Yeah, but Becky don't play, though. That's what I was going to tell you. Is one time, I don't know, I reckon now it's probably been about a year ago. Uh, she was wanting me to go somewhere with her. And she was texting me, are you ready? Let's go. Are you ready? She was at the house. I was at my house. And um, and she was like, I really want you to go. And I was trying to get ready. And my phone kept going off, going off, going off. And I said, Mama, I already told you I would go. And then she kept texting me. And I texted her. And I said, damn, Mama. Boy, let me tell you what happened. My mama pulled up to the absolute front steps of my house, just about as close as she could get that car, laid on the horn. And when I walked out, she had the window rolled down on the passenger side, and she was like, get your tail in this car. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, my God. So I went, I opened it up, and I sat down. She said, I know you're grown, but I'm still your mama. She was like, and you ain't going to be cussing at me. Do you understand what I'm telling you? She was like, I'll still slap you right in your jaws. You ain't going to be cussing at me. And when was this? Probably maybe not even like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm still scared of my mama. My mama don't play. I love okay? it. Okay? She right. does not play. And so I had to tell her that day. I was like, Mom, I'm sorry. I said, I really, really won't cussing at you. I was just aggravated because you kept texting me, you know? Mm-hmm. She was like, well, I'm still your mama now. Come on, we're going to go. <laughs> so we went wherever <laughs> it was we were going. But I've told many people that because when I tell you she pulled up to the front steps, I'm talking about she pulled up like Mario Andretti. Mm-hmm. Like she was hot to try. So I'm going to go off the cuff here uh, with my off the record statement today because Aletha just prods me just enough to get going. Um, there was a book written many years ago called How to Win Friends and Influence Enemies. And I think there are a lot of people who strive to be in public life or strive to influence uh, other individuals or strive to grow their business who absolutely need to, at, at a minimum, read the cliff notes of that book and at best actually read the premise of the book. Because what I find a lot of times, Aletha, are, are people who are trying to be bigger than what they probably really are. They're trying to put off this persona uh, without actually understanding that people are really more attracted to humility, kindness, uh, uh, grace, uh, thankfulness, a hard work, determination, and not rude, um, uh, crass type of personalities in 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 trying to attract people. The the way to do it is to actually show people through your work ethic. 
uh, uh, showcase that to to what degree is still humble and uh, do for others more than they do for you. And I think that is something that we don't see enough of. And I want to encourage the young people as you're watching other leaders, as you're reading about personal develop, as, as development, as you're trying to emulate uh, those with a lot of money or uh, uh, great careers or uh, great uh, religious beliefs or whatever it is you're trying to achieve, make sure that that person also shows a bit of the kind of character that you want to emulate as well. And that at the bottom line is uh, treat people with kindness and respect and work hard and uh, be be a little humble about it. Uh, Letha, this was fun. It's always fun. And it wasn't so bad at 9 o'clock in the morning. Yes, it was. No, it was it's not. an ungodly time you, you, to have me you're, in here trying you to, are ridic- trying to You're ridiculous. Talk. Rid- ridiculous is what you are. See, look at the, you saw that? We should replay that. Just, just show her going, how'd you do that? I don't know. <laughs> you can only do it when you're mad. Uh, look, y'all have a great week. Enjoy yourself. I'm BJ. I'm Aletha. And this was Off the Record.